and the conversation started with the debates by the way where the person mentioned that they had watched 45 minutes of the debates and went oh wow you you were able to tolerate 45 minutes and they were like well yeah it was, it was crazy it was this it was this it was this uh, oh my god i got an update for the for the legend and uh civil unrest you changed it you rock <laughs> i changed it as well and uh um i i mentioned that uh you know the only things that i've seen of the debate was like three minutes you know multiple s segments short little segments and the one that i saw like two or three times was the one where you know they asked trump if uh if uh uh, what his comments were regarding what Biden said, and he looked, he looked at the person asking the questions, uh, uh, and said, "Well, I, I don't know what he said, and I don't think Biden even knows what he said." And then the person that was talking about the debate that was engaging me, they said, "Well, the, the, yeah, that, that was problematic. Uh, you know, it was funny and stuff." I'm like, it "Wasn't really funny. It was crazy." Uh, and he was like, "Yeah, but but uh, uh, the Trumps." Uh, those people are anti-science they're anti-science he he literally turned around uh, and to defend to lessen the impact of what it was that people witnessed on live tv if they were stupid enough to think that wasn't the case of what biden was right for the last three years right if they had just acknowledged or went what <laughs> this guy's like full-on dementia like the guy's low iq he definitely doesn't run the country so what the guy was doing was trying to say that trump was anti-science right so i turned to him and said anti-science i go what does that mean is that like i am science fauci and the guy looked at me went what i go yeah like if you recall fauci said i am science that is the most anti-science thing I've ever heard in my life like that is the most anti-science thing you could actually say I am science right and the guy goes well yeah that's not good I go not good you just call Trump anti-science meanwhile Trump was the one that came out and talked about censor to my blog <laughs> ivermectin hydrochloroquine that all this jazz now, I didn't go this deep with the person right I just said you just called them anti-science and that's the most anti-science thing and then we parted ways right after the Obama comment soon after right and then uh, with with anti-science like if, if you knew what took place the people that were science-based were the people who were questioning what was being done in the last three years in the last four years right so these leftoid woke people <laughs> right, crazy that question western geopolitics foreign policy swallowed everything that was coming out from centralized power in the western world regarding domestic policy even though it was the completely like the most anti-scientific statements that could have ever been made because they have trump derangement syndrome right tedious so that to me is to witness this is unbelievable like it is it is a moment that makes you reflect on the society that you're living in where so-called educated people so-called educated because some of these people i'm talking to they got their bachelors they got their masters some they got their phds these people swallowed hook line and sinker right did things to their bodies which were could be detrimental to their bodies right defending their actions defending the people that sold them the kool-aid right because they have so much hate on for something else that they're willing to sacrifice their lives their health they're willing to burn the world because they hate something so much right Crazy.
crazy, crazy, so weird, so weird, so weird.